That's not it's, a uh, real. She pooed it. It's a relief, at least, because after this Mark Henry match, now Undertaker's got something to really sink his teeth into. Oh, yeah. On April 7th on SmackDown, we see the debut of the great Kali, who's here to beat up the Undertaker. That means it's going to be his Judgment Day opponent on May 21st in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. Undertaker and great Kali, man. Uh, Brian Alvarez would write Kali selling. If you can identify it as such was monumentally bad. Uh, Kali never took a single bump the entire time. The closest he came was stumbling backwards and getting tied in the ropes. And this is a miracle of a match that had ever happened. I understand you see a guy that big and you think, man, that'd be a spectacle. But then as you like to say, then the bell rang. What'd you think? Great Kali undertaker. I bet undertaker's still not talking to you over this. Yeah. (laughs) That's worth mentioning here. I want to mention Kali wins. This is not a, I mean, we're not. We're not squashing him here. He beat the fucking undertaker. Yes, he did. He, he beat sure him clean. He, this is debut and his debut match is well, a clean victory over the undertaker. And here's the philosophy bringing guy in on top. They accept him as a top guy. Um, and, and, and here's the other thing, you know, that the chop that Kali did, um, look like shit hurt like hell. Kali gave me that chop working. And I thought that my entire body had compressed my neck hurt for weeks. And I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, he was just playing with me. He's a big, strong, massive son of a gun, clumsy as fuck all. Um, very sweet man. Very, very nice guy. Uh, but just one wasn't very good. I think that's, that's the best way to, to put it. And Vince, you know, loves the giants and the big men and standing next to Kali, you know, he makes any and everybody look small. Undertaker was, was dubbed the guy, you know, you think you can get something out of him. Mark tried, did what we could, (laughs) but he was not, uh, he was not the working giant that big show was a working giant. Andre was a working giant. (coughs) Well, giant Gonzalez and Kali were just big motherfuckers. A lot of times I think people assume when this match moves, you would move it to SummerSlam, but instead. It's moved from SummerSlam to an episode of SmackDown, and it's not even the main event. An Undertaker would beat Kali after hitting him with the chair and then the choke slam, and that kept Kali down for the 10 count. Thank God. Uh, how would you compare his matches with Kali to Giant Gonzalez? About the same, but they were, I think they were a little better with Kali because there was, uh, I think that Kali. Again, Kali just didn't know, but Kali would work stiff sometimes. And so there was a little natural, um, potatoes, taters being thrown on both sides where taker would light Kali up whenever Kali would be a little heavy in the ring. So that added to it a little bit, but not enough for the audience to notice. We've got bad news for you. Next up is the great American bash where for the prior two years, the undertaker <laughs> murdered a human Paul Barron. Oh, four Muhammad Hassan. Oh, five. Can't he wait to see concrete, who he... con- con- concrete crypt and got rid of. Okay. Well, here we are. Great American bash of six, July 23rd in Indianapolis. Who's he going to kill this year? The fans. Uh, the match is undertaker big show in a Punjabi prison match. I can't believe this is fucking real life. It, as if it's not enough that there is a Punjabi prison match. It's not even with great Kali. It's Undertaker and Big Show, which I guess we should be thankful for. 
But holy shit. What is this? This is the worst piece of shit TV ever. Go back and watch this. Great American Bash 06. No, I don't recommend that. Don't, the, don't. Yes, watch it. No. It's awful. Check well, me. here's the thing. People people that have, or at least uh, have some kind of consultation or, or, or something, but the folks that that built the Punjabi prison had never, had never worked obviously. And they built the sturdiest motherfucking structure you could imagine. Wait a minute. So this is not a working Punjabi prison. No, this is shooting Punjabi prison made with steel. That was heavy as fuck, non-forgiving painted to look like bamboo and hurt like hell. Then you got the inner cage that, that no one has really figured out yet how this is going to work. And I, I liken this match to that King of the Hill match thing that they had in TNA where okay, you win. Then this guy goes in a penalty box and you hold the title till somebody else beats somebody else and all this other bullshit. I can't even tell you what the premise of the Punjabi prison match was. They started in the inner cage and doors opened for a certain period of time, like a minute or whatever. Then they closed and then you're in the cage again and the idea was to escape from the inner cage to get to the outer cage to escape the outer cage and oh it was everybody saw it for the first time day of and big show and taker walking around going what the fuck are we going to do in this so trying to to get there um Look, I give I give Taker and Big Show mega mega kudos for going in and at least having some kind of a match in the thing and and trying to make it work. They did the best they could, but it was a it was a flawed premise to begin with. You're looking for a you know another elimination chamber, another hell in a cell, something that would be. And, and the other thing, it, it's, it's a Punjabi prison. So how does it make sense for anybody other than <laughs> Kali, who was a prison guard in India, to have this fucking match? Where, where does I am? So anyway, um, hey, we tried. Yeah. Sounded, you know, sounded good on paper in the beginning. Allegedly, Kali is removed from this match because he had some sort of Elevated liver elevated, enzymes or yeah. something like that. What was going on with that? Yeah, I, it was some kind of a condition, but he couldn't get cleared by a doctor. Um, there was there was concern over his elevated liver enzymes. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Other than I know that he was not cleared to wrestle. <laughs> he had this fucking match booked. So you, you can only replace a giant with a giant. That's a rule. So the match was in the bylaws. A lot. 